Comparisons really do kill the cat. Um, so one of my favorite couples that I work with um, really get caught up in comparing their themselves of having kids or not having kids or um, whether they should are making enough money or too much money um, to others, to their siblings, to their friends, to people we know. And man, particularly when I see couples doing this together, that, that that dissatisfaction, that not enoughness, man, that is exacerbated. It becomes ex expensiation, maybe? <laughs> it multiplies when couples do this together. It is hard enough to feel like we are not enough. But then if you're doing this with your partner too and you both are commiserating, you're both are supporting each other and not feeling enough, and that becomes the way you are just communicating of this not enoughness, this comparison to others, First off, no, one, this is just really common. Everything, so much of our systems actually ask us and demand of us to be better, you have to compare. And if you are not feeling less than, we'll make you feel more than, which is a bunch of bullshit. But if you notice that you are constantly comparing yourself with your partner to others, and one, if that becomes critical of your partner or to um, that's where it's often projected, but then notice what that's doing for yourself and notice what that's doing in your relationship because it really, these comparisons, you better bet if you're doing this out of the bedroom and you're doing this at work, it is coming in the bedroom. And this is where performance anxiety comes in. Are we doing it enough? Are we doing it too little? What's wrong with me? I'm feeling broken. Our relationship is broken. All of those things are going to come up and that's what you don't want. Okay. So check in with the comparisons most of the time. They're not really helping us, but you can change that.